morning. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Amina Center for Entrepreneurship and Development at the Hall School of Business, uh, I would like to welcome you to Tekwadi's ninth annual forum and to what promises to be the best annual forum. To better appreciate the significance and impact of what the Amina Center, Tekwadi, and indeed all of you are doing, let me begin by sharing some sobering statistics about the MENA region. In spite of all the progress that is being made, the broader Middle East region still has the highest overall and youth unemployment rates and the lowest female labor force participation rate in the world. Roughly 40% of the labor force is employed in the informal sector, where they are bereft of legal protections and social safety nets. Ironically, those with higher levels of education, especially women, tend disproportionately to suffer from unemployment and underemployment. And the best and the brightest in the region continue to become a part of the brain drain. What makes these figures particularly alarming is the region's demographic profile, where the youth bulge is twice the global average, and about two-thirds, or 370 million out of the region's 560 million inhabitants, are below the age of 30. Nor is this all. Although comprising no more than 7% no of the globe's population, the region accounts for roughly 20% of global conflicts, most of which are based on sectarian and ethnic divisions. So, much like Tekwadi, the Amina Center seeks to make a difference in this landscape by helping to narrow the region's entrepreneurship, innovation, skills, and gender gaps, as well as, is, as, well as its ethnic and sectarian divides. Our initiatives leverage UC Berkeley's strengths as the world's leading public university to design and run AI-based acceleration programs, provide supplemental education and training in entrepreneurship, innovation, and leadership, offer youth development initiatives involving the teaching of 21st century skills, mobilizing our graduate students to serve as mentors and coaches to startups in the region, and functioning as an academic think tank. Fortunately, I don't have time to delve into the specifics of our initiatives, but I am very happy, I'm delighted, to report to you that my mentor and source of emulation, Dr. Osama Hassanein, is with us today, and he has graciously agreed to join me here at the podium and to briefly talk about two of the Amina Center's recent impactful initiatives. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Osama. Thank you very much, Dr. Daryush, for these uh, insightful perspectives. Your initiatives in the last five years to promote entrepreneurship and innovation in the Middle East are most impressive. Uh, since I've been dragged here, 
I would like to share with uh, my friends at TechWadi these two initiatives because many of you would very much like to be uh, involved, I suppose. So the first one, as uh, Dr. Daryush has mentioned, <clears throat> uh, is very similar to a program at Stanford called the Knight Hennessy Scholars Program, the best endowed program, scholars program in the world. The project aims to bring from the Middle East students who recently graduated from STEM <clears throat> for two semesters, excuse me, <clears throat> for two semesters here at uh, Berkeley to learn about entrepreneurship, artificial intelligence, and innovation. The program is very, very focused on the development, only, not only of the skills, but of the programs that these graduates would like to launch, whether it is for profit or for non-profit during the two semesters of mentorship here. So they are scholars, if you will. The second initiative was actually launched in 2018. Uh, the content of this program was actually developed by Stanford University professor, Dr. Yahya Tabish, who is uh, sitting here on the th fourth row. Uh, and in cooperation with our dear friend, uh, Saeed Saeed, uh, he is the chairman and the founder of uh, the Transformation Education Program in the GCC. The program aims to bring workshops and vocational training to 3,000 uh, schools uh, along six tracks, uh, such as uh, digital art for women, for girls, uh, transportation, smart uh, construction and building, uh, oil and gas, uh, uh, hospitality, tourism, and recycling. The intent in cooperation with uh, the transformation plan in Saudi Arabia, through these programs, these vocational programs, to create 450,000 jobs in non-government sectors by 2020. <clears throat> the, sign is, the sun is uh, shining uh, on our region, on our countries. And as uh, Martin Luther King said, we can accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Godspeed ahead.